In this video we will try two very affordable compressor pedals from Harley Benton on bass. Let's do this! Hi! My name is Gregor, our bass player for today is Phil Rehm and the drummer that you just heard in the intro is Max Gepard. Make sure to follow these awesome creative guys on Instagram. A while ago we made a video with a bunch of Harley Benton pedals uh, on this channel and this one was actually supposed to be a part of that, but the unit that I received was broken, so I decided to order it again together with another compressor and give those two a proper go. Compressors are there to even out your playing dynamics. They raise the fundamentals in order to make the volume difference to your peaks smaller. Arguably compression is besides of course the equalizer the most important effect for any type of music. That's why these are built in so many amps and devices. Sometimes without your knowledge, especially in class D amps, but sometimes even unintentionally, because there's also the thing called natural compression, which especially occurs in tube amps and speaker cabinets. Also compressors can sound very different, some just sound super fat and add a lot of saturation and, and sustain to your sound and others do just very little and just do some little surgical things on your tone just to even some peaks out. These two are very subtle types of their genre so if you want to hear what they're doing better use headphones for this video. <laughs> Both pedals have three controls. Attack decides how early the compressor kicks in. If you want to maintain a natural attack, put it at around noon. Sustain decides how long the compressor compresses your sound. If you put it on a setting past noon, you get the effect that your natural sustain isn't declining nearly as fast as if you don't use a compressor, which can be a cool effect for slow music and long standing notes. Level is the third control and this is simply there to correct any volume changes. These two are actually kind of similar, but I like uh, this one a little bit more. The green one, the Dyna compressor, steals a little bit of a low end, which is never good news for bass, so if you have the couple of extra bucks just get this one. Of course this is still very simple and very, I mean it's a very cheap and affordable, let's say affordable pedal, but um, if you just want to get into compression and figure out what it actually is, maybe this is an okay point to start. This is of course not one of those where you step on it and suddenly have this huge massive saturated bass uh, sound. There are other pedals uh, for that and I mean there are also reasons why there are compressor pedals which literally cost like 10 or 20 times as much as this one. So, But again, if you just want to start and want to check one out, check it out. There's a link in the video description which leads you to the Toman website where you can order it and if you do that through this link we as a channel get a little kickback. So if you decide to do that, thank you very much and otherwise that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time and bye bye.